After this, Jesus traveled about from one town and village to another, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. The twelve were with him, and also some women who had been cured of evil spirits and diseases. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had come out. Joanna, the wife of Cusa, the manager of Herod's household. Susanna, and many others. These women were helping to support them out of their own means. All you need to know about me is that before I met Jesus, I had some issues. <laughs> oh yeah, issues. It's my way of saying that at one point in my life, I was dealing with seven demons. Mm -hmm. That's a lot, right? Ooh, yes. 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 Girl. See, I can see already. Y'all trying to figure out who and what my demons were. But that's between me and my Savior. Mm -hmm. The truth is, you may not want to admit it, but some of you have had or may still have some serious issues you need supernatural help to overcome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you who I am. By doing so, maybe you'll learn a little about yourself. Mm -hmm. I am Mary Magdalene. I was an outcast. I am Mary. I was broken. I Mary. I grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. I am Mary. They said I would never amount to anything. I am Mary Magdalene. I am you. Oh yeah, I'm not the only Mary in our midst. I'm not the only one with demons. Some of you have been battling depression, destructive relationships, <clears throat> fear of failure, unforgiveness, drug addiction, inability to stop gossiping. Mm -hmm. But if I could just encourage you, with Jesus, the past is the past. I came to Jesus just as I was. I was weary. I was worn. I was sad. But I found in him a resting place. Mm -hmm. And he has made me glad. <laughs> if you don't know, you better ask somebody. Mm -hmm. I can't deny I am blessed to be a woman of means. My husband's salary is enough so that I don't have to work if I don't want to. But don't let that fool you. I am here following Jesus because I have some stuff that I'm dealing with too. So many times you look at people not realizing that they may be wearing a mask. I know I was wearing one. Smiling on the outside and scared that in a moment my face might crack mm -hmm. if I have to keep this charade up. Don't judge me because some of you may have come to worship today in a nice car, wearing a nice suit, sitting next to a fine man that you call your husband. Now people saw you drop those adorable kids at <coughs> children's church. Hmm. But if we really got to know you, sat down and talked to you for a while, we might find out that the car is leased, those suits are charged, that husband is trifling, mm -hmm. and those adorable children are like baby's kids, mm -hmm. and you are praying for the children's church workers as we speak. <laughs> but the good news is, even if you have a pretty good life, or the appearance of one, Jesus wants you on his team. 
When I was introduced to Jesus, I was reserved. I had a wall up. I had been hurt by religious people before, mm. so my trust was broken. But connecting with Christ is the best thing that ever happened to me. That's right, I have a sketchy past. I married John, Tom, Harry, and Bob. Mm. Some of them I ran out on, and some of them ran out on me. I'm not proud of what I did. <clears throat> I used to go make groceries in the daytime to miss the moms that used to go early in the morning. And I did that for years. You know, one day I went to the Jerusalem Kroger's and I saw a man, he was looking at me and I tried to avoid him, you know how we do. Mm -hmm. And he asked me for a drink of water. And I told him, I'm a Samaritan woman and you are a Jew. We have nothing in common. He asked me, where was my husband? And I got defensive. I don't have a husband. Mm -hmm. And he said, he knew that. And he told me the man that I was with was not my husband. Mm -hmm. And I said, OMG. In that moment, I knew it was something special about this man. He saw me, the real me, and loved me anyway. Mm -hmm. So I went and told everyone that would listen to my story. And I've been telling everyone ever since. But I'm just happy to be counting the number. Anytime people talk about the women who follow Jesus, they say Mary, Joanna. Oh, and did I mention Susanna? Growing up, I was only known by my family name. Some good, some bad. Often felt like a tag along, a fifth wheel. It hurts because people only knew me with who I associated with. People would say, associate yourself with your spouse, your children, your family, your church but they forget to know who you really are. Mm -hmm. yeah. You pray that they will come pat they see past that and see who you really are. Well that's why I'm glad I met Jesus. He gave me a drive. Mm. He gave me a focus. He gave me life meaning. And I have committed to following him, even if nobody else takes notice. <laughs>